everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am just stopping by to share with you my setup for this year's Beloved Society, uh, sponsored by Illustrated Faith, yearly scripture writing plan. So what that is, Beth, who is Beloved Society, creates a Bible study. It's really easy. It's one verse, five days a week. 52 weeks out of the year. And in the past, I've made really complicated, big, thick journals. I've used Archer and Olive journals. I've used all kinds of things. And this year I wanted to just go simple. And usually I did big collages because she did these, these cool like square things that had all the scripture on them. And so I either made tags out of them. Anyway, you can see some of my past ones, but they, they just got too complicated. So this year, I wanted to go simple, except I didn't go simple on my cover. So everything you see on this cover, including this um, sorry silk, is all from Amy, also known as Floshi May Cottage. And she sells these gorgeous, gorgeous bundles. I grabbed, I saw this blue bundle and had to absolutely grab it. So this is a manila folder. I have sewn two different layers of fabrics here. I left all the strings. I'm a string person. I love all the strings. And then on the front, I kind of did a sewn collage. So I didn't use any pins. And the only thing I did was I did glue down some of the outside edge. And you'll see that I've done some fun little stitching. Um, there's leaves here. I don't know what you'd call that. That's almost a cross stitch there, a feather stitch, little snowflakes up the side here, and then this pattern here as well. And you'll see that I've got all these dangles hanging out. I will get to that in a moment. But even this little piece and the lace and all of that came from Amy. So I will link her below and I will link Beth at Illustrated Faith below as well in the description box. So what I've done is I kept it very simple. There are only 52 pages in this whole journal. Usually I would do two pages to a week. And I've decided, like I said, I'm going to keep it simple. And this is what Beth came out with and I thought it was super cute. This is just like a bookmark. You can use it as a bookmark. And what I have done is I have taken January and February, put them together, and created a bookmark. And I love planning Janny and the, um, what is it? There's several of them. I can link a few of them below, who do all this bead work. And this took me an hour and a half to get all these. Well, I think it even took longer than that. It probably took me two hours to do all this bead work. But I am making this for me and to enjoy and have fun. So the way this will work then is I have my uh, bookmark and I can move it around as I go. And then when I get to February, then I can put the February bookmark on there. And then I plan to set it up each week using a variety of stickers. Currently what I'm using, this is my January planner kit, uh, planning and coffee. And so I've just done a little bit of kind of a washi tape down the side. And then I printed it out on sticker paper and cut it with, let me see if I have it still up. I have it right here. I used this cutter, and I believe this is We Are Memory Keepers. It sure is. That's a We Are Memory Keepers cutter, and I think it's even still available if you want it. So I cut the edges and then trimmed it up so it was about an inch and added some other stickers, added my day stickers, um, and then some little kind of snowflakes as little additional things. So then each of these has its own different set and the blues kind of go with this. Oh, I forgot to explain this. This is that Tim Holtz repeating pattern scroll. And so I just used that and I believe it's sea glass uh, or speckled egg. It was speckled egg. That was what it was. So I used the speckled egg and just 
spent way too much time. I think I spent way more time. I wanted to make this very simple and I think I've spent way more time on this than I have on anything else. So it's all just my uh, 28 pound coffee dyed paper. I had that sitting around. I'm just going to show each of these off. This is March and April. And then for this one, let's see if I can get this one to flip over. Well, let's flip it over so it says March. Anyway, this one, maybe I'll do it this way. This one I did, um, this is a, I think this is Tim Holtz, but it may be Prima. I think it's Tim Holtz. And put that little rose in there. And then, like I said, I can move these around as I'm journaling in here. The next one is the May, June one. So that's May. And you'll see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. So what you're skipping are your weekends. And this is the printable kit. She does have her own set of uh, ephemera too you can use to decorate your journals with as well. Um, that one's just a Tim Holtz noted. And then I'm not gonna get these all back in so it all looks really pretty, but I'm just putting them all back in as I go. The next one is this July and August one. Oops, I got them caught. So there's July and there's August. I love this color, by the way. I think Beth did a gorgeous job on choosing colors. And this just has a heart on the end. So July would be up for this one. Oops, didn't quite get it. There we go. And so you can see that these are all just classic bookmarks. I just made them. I used oversized rose gold um, paper clips. I wanted something that I could put a whole bunch of dangles off of. Here's the September one. And this has got this sparkly crown on it. I love crowns. Um, true confession, I am actually a beauty pageant queen, a national winner. So I've won several pageants over the years. I used to be a pageant coach um, and I gave all that up because I found that I loved this more than that. And we change and grow as we get older and I had outgrown pageants and you do not do them anymore. And then this last one is November and December. And that one has a butterfly representing all that wonderful change that we have going on in our lives. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is what I have done with the Beloved Society, the uh, Beloved's um, Scripture Writing Plan. Uh, I am so excited to start this and get going. Uh, if you have missed any past years, you can go back and do some of the past years too. So every year is different. And I'm not even sure what year I'm on. I'm on four or five now with her. And I just love these. Beth does a great job. Um, and so this is my not so simple setup for my scripture writing this year. I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.